how's it going? Uh, today we're going to go over how to draw a Jack Skellington Among Us crewmate. Uh, we're going to be using this Crayola brand marker and we're going to be using uh, this regular printing paper. So it's going to be really simple and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started, okay? First thing I'm going to do, ooh, one thing though, if you like um, kind of daily drawings, if you like learning a little bit about drawing and transforming yourself into you know, a better artist, uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That's going to let you know when I post. I post usually about once a day, but it changes every now and then since I post three times a day. So hit that uh, subscribe and the bell notification. Another topic, hit the like, hit that like if you like the topic that I'm doing right now. Let's go. Going to curve over here for the top. Almost every crewmate design, almost, starts out with a regular crewmate design, but then you add stuff onto it. So curve over here to the side, curve on this side, and then now we're gonna go here to the bottom. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go line over here for the forehead, basically. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curve backward for the top part of the head. Line over here, line over here, curve along the bottom, curve along the bottom here, pulling up, pulling in, pulling a line there for the feet. So right now, he's got teddy bear feet. That's something you have to remember. It just, it reminds me of like a big teddy bear. That's why the designs are so famous, they're so cool. They're really easy to design, right? And I mean design. They're easy to kind of draw and remember. That's the other thing. You really remember this crewmate design, right? I mean, I do. So let's go over here and I'm gonna mark a line from like halfway between this point and this point. Let's go halfway and I'm gonna move back, put a line there. Bottom of the body here, move back. Over there too. Out, down, in. Looks like he has like a loaf of bread on his back. I always think about that. I mean, when I'm drawing, I'm not. I'm not sitting around thinking about loaves of bread or, or randomly. Um, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna put in Jack Skellington style, you know, features. Right? What is that? It can be a lot of things. Um, this is one version of it. You can draw his face in there. I don't really want to do that. So we're going to draw that necker, that, that it's got like this kind of bow tie thing going on. So we're going to draw that at the bottom here and I'm going to pull a line out, out, down here, zigzag, down here, zigzag. And I'm just drawing through stuff because I'm going to fill that in, you know, V shape here for the center of it. And I'm going to pull back here. Going over here on this side. Same thing. It's got these three flaring out right there. And then I'm going to fill this in here. Like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to fill this in on this side. Right there. Cool, cool. Let's draw. I'm going to fill in most of this triangle because a lot of it's dark, but I want it to be visible. So I'm going to fill it in like that, you know? What I'm going to do below that is I'm going to draw a V shape, and that's going to be for the button up part, the button up shirt, whatever. Down. Going over here, down, over here, up for the collar area. 
And we're going to pull across here for the pants. So he's got like a straight line over here across. So there's something else about this outfit. We're going to have to put stripes on it. So I'm going to go with a thick line across it. And I'm without obscuring, see it like that line right there, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it not touching that. So I'm going to keep it, I'm going to, do you understand what I mean by that? I'm going to try to not obscure these lines over here because you're not going to be able to tell what you're looking at if I just draw these thick lines all over it. Let me do the pants as well. Sorry about that. Just kind of doing it up like that. And I'm using the side a lot. I really want to, you know, this part you have to be careful, right? Try not to touch any other line. Okay. And then the same thing goes for... This one's a little bit thinner though. The lines on that open collar here, on the fold. All right, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, all right. And the backpack is gonna look the same. You could also fill this in by the way, which is another way you can do it. Let me show you this. Fill this in right here without filling in the entire shape again, just so you see the edges. Um, and then the last way is you can fill it up except for the line touching the tie. I can fill this whole thing in except for the line up there touching the tie. So I, I can keep a little separation there. All right. And that's one way. And you can repair these lines over here as well, too. That's one way you can do a Jack Skellington, um, you know, among us crewmate. Like, uh, there's a couple of different ways, but that's one. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, let me throw like a shine over here because I'm not going to color this guy. Go over here. Obviously, like that shine to make it obvious of what it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Um, let's, I appreciate it. Uh, let's just, you know. I appreciate everything. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will talk to you later. Uh, don't forget to check out the cool stuff in the description that's going to make you a great artist. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Keep it easy, guys.